What's going on YouTube? This is NecroStevo and I am here to finally present to you an Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire battle. Just take it all in. I'm very happy to bring you a new intro and also a new overlay. So if you like these things, just let me know with a like on the video. As you can see that this is an Uber's match that I had against my fantastic rival, Trainer Connor. I will leave his link in the description if you haven't checked him out already, please do so. We have um, a learning opportunity here in this battle. I actually didn't know how some of the mechanics work before I went into the battle. So this is a learning experience. Now uh, you see that I have the Omega Groot on there, or the Primal Groot on rather, alongside uh, Amipom for Fake Out because I didn't want to deal with any Talonflame shenanigans or that type of thing. And I had brought Venusaur, thinking that Desolate Land stayed if I switched out Groudon. That's not how that works at all. So we're going to find that out later. I started off with Mewtwo because that was one of the fastest Pokemon that I had. Seeing Diggersby made me worry that he was Scarfed and I did not want to take a Scarfed huge power U-turn. So I switched directly out into Groudon so that I can go ahead and get my Primal Reversion going and get up some really, really harsh sun. Uh, it's interesting that I'm using uh, Primal Groudon. I don't like the sun very much, but I have not captured uh, Kyogre in-game yet, and this is an older Groudon from, wow, I think I got this one way back in third gen. Anyways, though, I knew that he was going to switch, and so I just decided to go for the uh, paralysis there, but he actually stays in with Klefki and uses spikes. I was really surprised by that. Expecting another switch, I decided to go for Stone Edge, because the ground move is here is just really obvious. And he stayed in again, so Trainer Connor made some fantastic predictions with some big steel fairy-like balls there. I don't. That was a weird phrase. I don't know why I said that. Now we see his uh, Primal Kyogre come in here. I know the weather is going to change. Um, of course, you can't manually change the weather while Primal Kyogre or Primal Groudon are out, but you can either switch them out or have the other version, uh, the alternative version of them come out and change the weather. So with that in mind, I'm going to go on to Deoxys here. After the spikes damage, I knew he was probably going to go for Ice Beam, expecting me to switch into Venusaur to take the water move. I was hoping I could take that a little bit better. I take that relatively well. Looks like I maybe can take a stab water move after that. But he actually decides to switch out. And this is Defense Deoxys, of course, so it's not uh, as fast. It's an interesting set, though, because I have Nasty Plot and recover up on top of uh, Dark Pulse and Focus Blast. Um, I do take a little over half from the Shadow Ball, and I just went for Nasty Plot thinking that that was max damage, because I have a very hefty defensive and special defensive investment on this Deoxys. So I was hoping that that was just a max roll, and I went from um, that move hoping to be able to recover up. But unfortunately, either you got two max rolls or I just couldn't take the two hits, because the second one is able to knock me out. That was kind of a dumb play if I had just gone for the Dark Pulse. It would have been in range easily for Amipon to knock it out with a Fake Out. But seeing the Life Orb means that I am not afraid of it. And I get to get a free Fake Out on it. And he brings back in Diggersby. I go straight for the Fake Out and that does fantastic amounts of damage. And here he shows me that he's actually banded because holy crap Quick Attack does a lot of damage. And I'm able to finish him with Last Resort. Unfortunately it's going to be at the cost of my Amipon because I thought he was Scarfed. Uh, and that he would just U-turn out and he just went for Quick Attack Bandit. Now I don't have the HP to switch back into Spikes. Here I do find out the good information that his Kyurem, his Black Kyurem rather, is Scarfed and it's most likely a mix set. So it's very likely that he has the Ice Beam on top of that. I knew Grudon could take any one move from uh, Black Kyurem just because the Special Attack isn't as high as the Physical Attack. This is a rather bulky uh, Primal Grudon uh, even though it has a lot of offensive stats there but knowing the heat switch I went ahead and went for Thunder Wave hoping to catch Solomon's I didn't think I'd be able to knock it out with a single uh, Stone Edge because I am so bulky because I'm using Swords Dance on this Groudon and so he does Mega Evolve and I go for Stone Edge and it actually doesn't knock it out it probably could have knocked out regular Solomon's but just Mega Solomon's is quite bulky and we get to see that right there fortunately I do live his Outrage and I also am able to connect with the second Stone Edge, so I'm able to take out Mega Salamence. And that means Black Kyurem comes right back out here, and he gets to threaten me with any Ice type move. And he actually hits the Blizzard, which only has 30% accuracy or something like that, in harsh sunlight. So that was a very ballsy move by him. I can't count the number of times that I've missed Blizzard even without harsh sunlight. 
So, but knowing that he's locked into an ice type move, we're just gonna go straight for Draco Meteor because he has to switch out basically. Because um, ice type move, especially Blizzard, is not going to do much to me. I'm able to destroy, or I think I heard uh, Shofu say Destralish or something like that at some point. There's no way he's living a choice specs Draco Meteor from Reshiram. Not happening. So that was a very easy KO to get. And now, knowing that he's Scarfed, I was hoping that I could take a Dragon Pulse. Yes, it is stab and super effective, but Kirim is um, not too great on the special offensive side. And actually has some decent bulk with Reshiram. Unfortunately, I can't take that hit. I did think I could take a hit with Mega Mewtwo X, who gets a nice special defensive boost uh, and a physical boost on top of its speed boost from going Mega. So I figured I could take that hit and maybe kill it with an Aura Sphere. It's stab super effective, but unfortunately with my interesting EV spread, having uh, used this in that friendly, the triple, the rotation friendly rather, from way back when, I'm unable to clear it out with the Aura Sphere. That means he's going to be able to finish me off with another Dragon Pulse. And since I don't have the Sun, that means my Venusaur is going to be quite less uh, effective here. I do know I can take a Dragon Pulse, so that was easy enough. Even though I'm timid, max uh, special attack, max speed, Dragon Pulse is not going to be super effective. So Venusaur can take that easily. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to outspeed Primal Kyogre just because uh, it's Primal Kyogre and Venusaur only has base 80 speed. So he's able to finish me off with an Ice Beam there. And that kind of sucks. But that's okay. I still really enjoyed my first Ubers battle. And Connor definitely gave me a run for my money at the beginning of the battle getting up those spikes. I think that's actually what swung the battle in his favor when he, he was able to get up two layers of spikes. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this first battle of many to come in the Omega Alpha well, I got that backwards. Omega Alpha. That's like doing the two sir titles from the... You know what I'm talking about. Oris. I'm just going to start saying Oris now that I have a video officially up saying Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Oris, darn it. Alright guys, have a good day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye now.